again i welcome everyone and i'm so glad to be joining my dear friend and sister apostle elisha maide now romans 8 19 romans 8 19 says for the earnest expectation yeah. of the creation eagerly waits for the revealing of the sons of god we are sons of god male and female we are sons of God. Remember the Bible says that they that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. So there is a way God addresses us generally with one gender that yes. we are son. We are sons. Yes. Even though those of us that are female, we know that we are daughters and the male gender also know they are sons. But when God is speaking to us generally, he addresses us as one. Before Jesus came in the Old Testament, he called them Adam. Even though Eve was inside Adam. But he called them what? Adam. Because some people may wonder, ah, why son of God? I'm a daughter of God. I think as women, yes. we have that privilege of the office of the daughter. And we can also work in the office of the son. Our sonship yes. is in Christ. Now it says, the earnest expectation of the creation. Who are the creation? God's mighty handiwork. You and I are the ones that God made already. We are his creation. We are his handiwork. All the people on the face of the earth. The Bible says they are waiting for the revealing of the sons of God. They are waiting for our revelation. They are waiting for our manifestation. Those of yes. us that have accepted Christ, those of us that are led by the Spirit of God, that are called the sons of God, they are waiting for what? Our manifestation. Because the earth is groaning. If you look at verse 20, it says, The creation was subject to fertility, not willingly, but because of him who subjected it in hope. 21, because the creation itself will also be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. Friends, people are going through a lot. On the face of the earth, people are groaning. They are groaning from poverty. They are groaning from sick in sicknesses and diseases. They are groaning in all manners of, of, of lack. They are groaning in, of course, family issues separation, divorce, um, wickedness, um, the things that are the root of that. People are groaning in these things. And I believe that we who are the children of God, who the Bible, God addresses us as the sons of God, have a part to play in the nations. And that is why I usually tell women, men also, to arise and shine. Because your light has come. And that is in Isaiah chapter 60 from verse 1 to 3. Arise and shine for your light has come. You do not understand the light that you carry. If you understand, you will arise. If you understand, you will know that people's, the, the, people's groanings will continue as long as you sit doing nothing. As long as you sit in your comfort zone. As long as you sit saying, okay, well, what is my own with what, what is happening in China? What is my business with what is happening in, in Russia? What's my business with what is happening in Nigeria? Am I the government? Am I the one that made the, the exchange rate to be so bad? No. We are not the cause of this. You are not the cause of it. But he has called us the repairer of the bridge. He has called us a bridge. He has called us sons of God. He has called us ambassadors of Christ. Reconciling men to him. That's in 2 Corinthians 5.25. He has called us by these names. It is not for fun. It is not just for ourselves alone to enjoy. But it is for us to Stand up, take authority, and release people from bondage. To release people from the yoke of the enemy. 
<laughs> and you are here, you are a child of God. You may say that, ah, even I myself, I'm going through some things. It is not compared to what the creation of God are going through without the knowledge of God, without the sonship of God, without the knowledge of Christ, without being born again, without being grafted into Christ. This, in the times we are in now, recently I've wondered, how are people living their lives without Christ? Because, I don't know, for me to do life without an understanding of the sonship of God over my life, to do life in times like this without Christ means crisis. The world is in crisis, the world is in chaos. Yes. We often discuss these things. The world is in chaos. It's like the world is in yes. darkness. But unlike in the beginning, before he made man, and he said the heart was the whole place was dark and void. And God said, let there be light. And then he formed yes. creation, the plants, the animals. Then he formed man, Adam, and gave him dominion. Inside Adam was Eve. He pulled out Eve and, you know, he called them Adam. He said, together have dominion on the earth. That was not only a husband and wife situation because that is good. That's beautiful. It's for purpose to have dominion. But it is generally for partnership. Prayer, create things, network, yes. come together. Yes. Male and female. Yes. Nobody's left out. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But of course, man fell, but God had a redemption. And that's what this prayer altar is about. Redemption prayer altar. Yes. Yes. To yes. understand yes. that we have been redeemed. We are the redeemed of the Lord. We are the restored. Friends, believers on this platform, watching me, do not look at your situation to decide suddenly that you are not redeemed. Ah, because you don't have enough money in your pocket to pay for that apartment. At this moment, you tell yourself, you are not the redeemed of the Lord. You tell yourself, you know, I'm not one to set others free. Because I have a need. It's not a crime to have a need. You have a need because you must also feel what people are going through. Yes. Our master Jesus, when he was on the earth, he was tempted at all points. He felt our need. He felt rejection. He felt homelessness. He felt everything. One day at times that he said, uh, he said, take me to where you live. I said, uh, I don't have where to lay my head, though, but I know I will find somewhere. People thought he was talking about poverty. Another people, we can also explain it with wealth that at free will, he will find somewhere to sleep, <laughs> you know? But the fact was that he knew that what he needed will show up part time and he had to trust God. He had to understand that he was the son of God before he worked a single miracle. This is the sonship we have to understand for us to operate in the nations, beginning from our homes, our life. Because when we say nations, we're talking about your home, we're talking about your office, we're talking about your business, we're talking about your sphere of influence where you operate we're talking about your family we're talking about where god has planted you where god has shot you as an arrow to be there hallelujah it is geographic and it is also spiritual some of us live in two places at the same time it's okay so when we say nations you are talking about the territory that god has given you for some of us, your nation that you have claimed is your street. Is your street. Not just your house, is your street. Don't, so don't say, I will not go for housing and estate in our estate. I don't go for meeting. No. Don't say, I will not go for meeting. Hello? You are the landlord there. Don't say, I'm a tenant in this estate. Let the landlords gather and do meeting. But they say, everyone that lives in this estate, come for meeting. But no, you don't go. Because after all, it's not my house. I rented it. But you are the occupier of that house. You are occupying that street. You don't even know whether that estate is preserved. Because of you. Because of what you will say in the meeting. Because of what you will hear. And take as prayer points. Ah, we have security issues in our estate. 
You are looking at it from the point of view of a son of God. You are looking at it not as they are saying it. Yes, they are saying it is true. Uh, one house was boggled the other day. We had to contribute money and step up our security. We only have two security guys. We need like six. Some people are grumbling like, ah, more levies. What else will we pay again to secure our estate? But you live there. Pay the pay, pay the fees. But beyond that, tell yourself, I am the original landlord here. You are a tenant in the house. But don't see yourself as a tenant because God posted you there. You are living there for such a time as this. So if you understand your sonship in God, you are going to go for that meeting. You are going to understand that you are light. And you are your good self. You will be there. Whether you have any extra money in your pocket for estate security or for generator or whatever, you are going to show up. You show up because you understand your son, your calling as a son of God. As a daughter of Zion. As a son of God. He says they are waiting. Look at it. Let's go back to our text, main scripture. Romans 8, 19. He says the script, the, the earnest expectation of creation eagerly waits for the revealing of the son of God. Some of us, because they already know you and they've seen your manifestations, the day there was something you prayed or you gave the wisdom that, ah, why don't we connect the electrical, this thing, to the main gate, and this, and then that's how you began to have power in the estate. Oh, okay, I know them at, uh, well, I won't say Nepa now. In Nigeria, we have different, <laughs> Keja power supply, yeah. whatever. Here in Atlanta, Georgia, Georgia is a Georgia power. We have power, you know, every state and city has their power supply. And it's okay, I know someone that I'm going to walk in, if I'm going to put a full call through. Ah, ah. What is it? No power in our is it for are we the only ones? And then you fix that. Then they begin to see you as the fixer. When you walk into the meeting, they're like, mm, our answer don't come. You may not have the answer for what they are discussing. The other day it was the electricity one you solved. Now they are dis discussing security. You may not have the answer right there, but you show up and then all eyes are on you. Like, ah, she's going to have something that will bring wisdom that will solve this. That's if they've already known you. As a fixer, as a manifester, as a, as light, as a son of God, as someone who shows up with answers. And sometimes you don't have answers. At that point in time, you don't need to pretend. It doesn't make you less of a son of God. It doesn't make you less light than you are. The fact that you are carrying the mentality is already is for some people. I walk around with that mentality. Sometimes I forget. But sometimes when I go into... Places that you call secular or places that, okay, it's not church, it's not, I mean, your estate is not church. You live on that street, you live in that estate. But you carry the mentality that I live here. So there must be answers. There must be healing. And sometimes all you just have is compassion on that day when the meeting is happening or whatever. All you have is compassion to just listen and say, ah, we're all going through this thing together. You know? And that is it. And you throw banter, someone says, it's not showing you on your face. Are we not living in this city together? Ah, ah, we don't have light. You don't know how. Why are you shining? You say, ah, it's the glory of God. Sometimes the sonship of God means that we, sh we show up and our presence brings comfort. It brings succor to someone. Sometimes without even opening your mouth. Sometimes. Sometimes you can't show up and say, okay, I'll join you guys by Zoom because I'm in another place. And it's okay, we provide a link for you. So you can be part of what we're discussing. You can be part of the solution to this pain that we are going through. Sons of God do not remove themselves from the problem. They don't remove themselves like that. Oh, I didn't create it. So why should I try to solve it? Praise God. This is the mentality we should have. Uh, because for me, sometimes I look at, okay, in Nigeria and all that, and I say, okay, <laughs> Lord, I'm not boasting, but I know in my own little way, I'm one of those repairing things from, long, from a long time ago, from university days. Even all I could do was pray. We pray for Nigeria. We, then coming into adulthood and just having an orphanage and just bringing it to us. Okay. I'm trying to contribute good to repair. Yeah. In Isaiah 61 verse 1, it says, 
The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, for he has anointed me to bring, to preach the gospel to the poor, to bind the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to them who are bound. And the, you know, the opening of prison to those in bondage, right? And then it goes on to say, and those to repair the broken walls, to be a repairer, repairer. Sons of God have repairing mentality. Have a repairer's mentality. Don't say I'm not the one that spoilt it, so I'll not repair it. If it looks spoilt and it's within your nation, it's within your area of influence, go ahead and repair it. In this season, sons of God are not holding back. He says the earnest expectation of the creature, they are waiting for the revealing of the sons of God. Don't say me, this small me. If you're a believer, you carry something. And they are waiting for that light. They may not tell you. All eyes are on you from here on. All eyes are on the church. And when I say church, those of us who are called out. The church means Christians. Not four walls of a building. We are two or three are gathered in my name. That is where I am. That is already the church. Two people are the church. Three people are the church. Hello? Okay, this mentality of one building somewhere. Our church is big. Our church is... We are church now as we've gathered. Hello? And so if we are the called out ones, we are not saying we are perfect, but know that you carry something. Know that you are son of God. People should wonder why are you walking confidently? Uh -uh. What are you using? I am using God. <laughs> And so we are going to pray now. And we are going to reveal what we are using. <laughs> the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit. Let us get ready to pray now. Because we can't go on sharing, sharing. Our time is almost up. But we must pray. But that gave a background and an understanding to us as sons of God. And that the, the nations, creations, are waiting for our revealing. They are waiting for our manifestation. So can we begin to take authority now as sons of God with this understanding as light, as a daughter of Zion, begin to take authority over things that are going bad, over things that are going wayward around us in the nations. We are talking about manifesting in nations. There is a degree you get to that you have to escalate and say, okay, Lord, I'm ready for more responsibilities. So let us pray. Father, the Bible says, ask of me the hidden and I will give to you. Ah, hey, Psalm 2 verse 8. He said, ask of me the nations and I will give to you for your inheritance. It is because we have not asked. Let us begin to ask right now. Begin to ask and be specific. Begin to ask. Some of you are asking for the restoration of your street, of your estate, of your children, of the schools, you know, where you work, of your organization. But some of us are asking for the restoration of families. It could be your family. You are standing in the gap for your family. You may be the only one that is saved. You know, or they are all going through stuff and you want to stand in the gap. Some of us are standing gap for nations because we're zeroing in on nations now. But I just wanted to break it down. Okay? I'm asking for nations. Ah, Masi Karia. Ask for Nigeria. Ask for the US. Ask for the nations. He said, and I will what? Give you. Why will he give you? Because he is the governor among the nations. Father in heaven. Father God. Here we are presenting ourselves before you and standing in the gap. You said we should ask. You said we should ask as sons of God that they are waiting for our revelation, our manifestation. People are looking to you for answers. Joseph in prison, the baker and the butler looked to him for answer. He interpreted their dream. Then he went, he was ushered to Pharaoh. So he took charge in prison where he was. Ah, Shakira Busta. Hey. Pray, pray, pray with this understanding. Don't say, okay, I'm going through stuff right now. You will be released. 
and you will release others. As you pray, you will be released and you release others. Joseph understood his sonship. And this is Christ had not come. He understood. He had some light, some measure. In a measure. And that was Old Testament. Ah, he did not judge himself by the prison that he was in. Ah, Masika Rababa. Say, Lord, release me to take new territories for you. Release me to take nations for you. Release me to take new territories. Makira Baba Pashenta. Friends, it comes with practice. Take families. Release families that are hurting. Start from home. Start from home. He said, ask of me. And I will give you the uttermost parts of the earth for your possessions. Ah! You want to jack back? You want to go to another country? It's okay. But please have this mentality that you are going there to solve problems. Because when you get there, you may be like, who sent me? Yes, you are sent. You thought you were going to satisfy your belly. Like, I'm hungry. If I get a job in America or in Germany, ease will come. And you get that job and you go. But then you get there, there's a set of problems. You're like, oh, I can't run back. Because it's the whole creation. Uh, it is nations that are groaning, beloved. I'm telling you. Even here in America, as far back as 2020, it was 2020 that I began to take this thing serious. Years before, I mean, I've been going and coming. He had given me, actually, the U.S. He had given me the U.S. I didn't reveal it. Apostolically, he had given me the U.S. But in 2020, I was like, God. I felt war looming. This was before NSAS in Nigeria. The elections was about to take place. This was like September. I feel like there's going to be war in America. I was telling my husband, I was groaning. I felt a foreboding. It's as if, let me go to Nigeria. But then we're not really to go to Nigeria yet. And then come back after November when the elections has happened in Nigeria. Then come back. Because I felt something was going to happen. But at last I was not released. I was just feeling that. Two weeks after that, answers broke out in Nigeria. I'm like, God. Between these two nations that you have given me, Lord. Ah. Obviously, I didn't come anywhere to hide. There's no hiding place. So pray and say, Lord, give me. So name the nation. I don't know which nation you're planning to go. Or those who may watch this later on. Maybe you're living in another country that is not your home country. Maybe you're a Nigerian, but you're living in the city of Calgary. Or you're living in Switzerland, Switzerland as a country, or the UK. Don't just be there. Say, Lord, give me this nation. Hallelujah. Let ease, let ease come to the people in this country around me. Lord, let ease come to families in the U.S. around me. Let ease come because I am here. Hallelujah. Mm. Lord, I know Nigeria, you've given to me and I've done a measure of work there and work is still going on there. But you sent me also here to claim territories. Not saying to come to America to have money to have. No, no. Those are byproducts. People are suffering. There's depression. There's loneliness. There's anxiety. Do they even know the love of God? Some, I mean not all. Father, do people even understand who they are and their identity? Do they know that they are light and they are capable of manifesting as sons of God? Lord, open our eyes. Right now, as we begin to pray, I speak into your lives right now. I speak a, a release, a release, yes. beauty for yes. ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. There is heaviness in the air. There is heaviness over people's lives. Even believers. That is why he says that to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. Beautiful ashes. In Zion. Yes. yes. You are Christian. You are growing through stuff. Because the enemy wants to discourage you. From the work of releasing others. From the work of reconciling others to Christ. I release you right now in Jesus name from shame. From shame you will be released. 
In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Lord, I will not look at my body. I will not look at my situation. I will rise up in sonship. I will rise up as light. And as I go, I know that my issues will be sorted. My issues will be resolved. In the name of Jesus. Friends, this is the way to go. It is reverse. It's like a reverse order. I always say, when you are sad, praise God. Just praise him and trick the enemy. Trick the enemy so he will be confused. Lord, I pray for grace. I pray for grace for everyone watching right now. That grace to have this understanding. This grace to rise up. This grace to rise up. Because you have the Holy Spirit. You have the power of God residing in you. Yes, your flesh may be going through stuff. You may be going through stuff, but you are your inner man is being renewed daily. Your inner man is renewed daily. Though the outward man is perishing, he says, Our inner man is being renewed. Thank you, Jesus. He says, Though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, he is with me. Rod and start they comfort. The, the journey is the and the joy is that Christ, the Holy Spirit, is with you. Hallelujah. Walk in the talk. Begin to bring your prayers to a close. But right now, we're still praying for nations. We're praying for nations. Thank you, Lord. Israel, Thank you, Lord. Palestine. Thank you, Jesus. Russia, Thank you, Ukraine. Name nations that are going through upheavals. Of course, our beloved Nigeria. There's a famine. There's a famine. <laughs> the Lord is dropping ideas in your heart what you are going to do. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Say, Lord, I release myself to be a channel of blessing. One thing about channels of blessings, one thing about channels. Have you seen any pipe, any pipe that carries water that is dry? No. It's not dry. Ah. That is the beauty of being saying, Lord, I'm a channel. If you say I'm a channel to feed people, you will not be hungry. Ah. Thank you, Jesus. In this season, in this season, sons of God, in this season, you are going to manifest. Because they are waiting. Thank you, Jesus. They are waiting in hope. We are, it says that the creation was subject to fitting, not within, but because of him who is subjected it in hope. We are hope dealers. Ah, Kaye Sotriande. We are hope givers. We are hope dealers. Some people say, hey, it's only preaching they are preaching. You two, you have joined the preachers. Are you also a pastor? You are preaching. Hey, people are hungry, you are preaching. There are some that will feed the poor. There are some that, we, that would, you know, give out things for children. There are some that will pay school fees and all that. And there are some that will preach. And some will go beyond preaching. I preach and do, yes. But there's some that will be God. There's even power in the preaching. Everything is needed. Everything. There's some that will smile in the bus and just smile at you. <laughs> and your heart just melts. The heaviness that was doing you, that was affecting you, your heart will just melt. You don't know why the person is smiling. That smile is like, use what you have. And let's stop judging each other. This one is not doing enough. The church is not doing enough. Pastors are not doing enough. Hello. Are pastors the government? But we are the government of God. And we are not trying to take the job of earthly government. So once again, say, Lord, use me. I want to take territories for you. No one should go to bed hungry around me. I want to take territories for you. Children should not be out of school in this season. I will help as many as I can help. Thank you, Father. Poverty is not my portion. I will not be broke. I will thrive in this season of famine. Friends, I'm telling you, you will thrive. Just release yourself to God. Get closer. Hold on to him because you are a son of God. The son of God cannot be hungry. The difference is our mentality. Son of God will not die of hunger. Son of God will not lack. None shall lack their mates. I see many saying, when God, when? When you do my own. I won't mention names. Even today, the internet is full of Who's getting married here in Ghana or not? Where is all that? Where is we love to see it? It will be your turn too. It will be your turn too. As long as you're a child of God, and you understand this sonship, and your mentality is to bring light, your mentality is to help, your mentality is to make better. Hello, 
When we talk about the area of marriage, maybe there's someone here trusting God for their life partner. Wait on God. Delay is not denial. When it comes late, it means it will come big. Aye, Cassidro Koshayanti. Hey, Masikaya. Someone says, Masika is, 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 is easier than you said because you're married, you have to. No, I don't know what I'm saying. Enjoy your life as a son of God. Enjoy your life as a daughter of Zion. Have the mentality to that, even the marriage you're expecting, whether you are male or female, it is to add value. Ah, Yakisa Toria. It is to add value. Thank you, Jesus. Father, Lord, we release. We release hope. As many that are trusting you for one thing or the other. We release hope into their lives. Open their eyes for them to see that they are called to take nations. Whether you are single, whether you are married, you are called to take nations. Because he says, ask of me. And I will give you the nations for your inheritance <laughs> to operate for me as my hand, as my eyes. God will not come down from heaven and operate things for us. He said the heavens belong to the earth, to, to the Lord, but the earth he has given to the sons of men. Amen. The earth is the Lord as the fullest of, and he has given it to us. He said, do as you will. If you like, spoil it. If you like, repair it. Some are spoiling it, but today... We have received the grace to be repairers of nation, nations, Amen. to be the repairers of it. Thank you, Amen. Father. On this note, we're tying it up, and I'm going to hand over to my host. But in Jesus' name, Father, I bless every hearer. I bless Amen. every hearer. I bless everyone that is on this live, on this Zoom, on this Instagram, and wherever they will be watching, even after this live. Anyone that will stumble on it. Lord, I release hope into them. I release revelation. I release understanding to them. I release joy out of your belly. Because you are a son of God. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. And so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. All that you need. Seek the kingdom of God. And all these things shall be added to you including the nations of the earth. Who will go for him? Say, yes, Lord, I will go for you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless.